Hey guys, I'm here with Dr. Jacqueline Cutler, and I wanted to take a little bit of time to ask uh, about Prop 1. I know that's one of the items on the ballot that's got a lot of attention. And I was wondering if you could just explain what that is and why Idahoans should know about it. For sure, yeah, this is definitely one of the th big things on the ballot that Idahoans will be voting on, and it would fundamentally change how our elections are run in Idaho. For the first component is primary reform. So instead of having the Democratic primary, the Republican primary, and so on, we now have one combined primary where the top four candidates would go on to, the top four vote-getting candidates would proceed yeah. to the general election regardless of party. And then in the general election, we'd use ranked choice voting to rank the candidates almost like an instant runoff as opposed to what we have now. So really, it would really change how our elections work in Idaho. I see. And then I also wanted to ask about HJR 5 and, you know, could you explain a little bit about that as well? Yeah, so this is a constitutional amendment that the legislature um, passed to put on the ballot and it would prohibit non-citizens from voting in any election in Idaho. Now, Idaho law and federal law already restricts non-citizen voting, but what we do see is there's a few other states that allow non-citizens to vote in municipal elections, so this would not allow that to happen in Idaho. Um, Again, it doesn't. It, there's some questions on how much of a difference or an effect it would make, how much of a change. But there's a lot of discussion about election security and the idea that this will help ensure uh, Idaho elections stay safe and secure. While some criticisms are the the phrasing of any election and what exactly that means. And then finally, um, as of 4 p.m., the Secretary of State reported 605,000 people, or six, yes, have voted already. And I'm wondering if that number stands out, you know, in previous years, if it's that high, or, you know, what that means to Idahoans. It looks like we're going to have pretty high turnout in this election. And that is good for a lot of reasons. It demonstrates that people are interested and engaged in the election. We also have had a lot of people move to Idaho. So there are, you know, maybe some new new voters that are moving into the state or new, you know, Idahoans newly registering to vote. Um, regardless, it's nice to see a lot of people getting out to vote. Um, at the, you know the, that demonstrates that interest and it also can really have an impact in the down ballot races some of these are really close and so your vote can really matter in those down ballot races awesome well thank you so much for your time i really yeah, appreciate of it of course